one thing that people don't know is that a woman can camouflage into her best character for the man that she loves. A woman can go to lengths, can go to the extreme to do or become a person that she is not for the man that she loves. Men get married or marry a woman hoping that she doesn't change. And women get married to a man hoping that this man may change or hoping to change the man. And for the woman, she keeps ignoring all the red flags, maybe because she is colorblind or maybe because red is her favorite color and therefore whenever she sees a lot of red flags dancing in her face, she ignores because after all, red is her favorite and it's harmless. Upon settling in marriage, this woman has done already enough. She has already changed herself into somebody else to get a man and now she has the man and the man is already relaxed and there is no thrill anymore and he has already settled the diary and he has nothing on her. She, he has already won her and the drama begins. Now, this woman's illusions starts coming into realities or the assumptions or this strong conviction of wanting to change this man through her character, through her humility, through her being supportive, through her being um, respectful, having done all those to win a man and now they are in marriage. But she gets to discover that this man after all, after being submissive, after being respectful, after cooking, after washing, after giving back to nice children, after being supportive, after respecting and just going with the flow of this man, he actually has relaxed. He actually is very freestyle and plain. He has put down all the cards. And now there are moments where this man cannot check up on her even when she is sick. There are moments where this man cannot support her even when something befalls her, even when she gets a funeral, even when her parents get sick, even when she needs some kind of financial support, even when she needs a shoulder to lean on, this man is absent. She grows to discover that this man doesn't have the capacity to love a woman. This man is not a nurturing father to her children. This man is emotionally detached. This man, apart from provision, there is nothing tangible he puts on the table in that relationship. And sometimes this man can cheat. This man is not that spiritual. He doesn't give a spiritual guide. In short, this woman discovers that this head is a bit less functional. This head is just there. This is a very plain head. She gets to discover that very late in her life. And she gets disappointed. And all her respect goes down. And the submission goes down and the support goes down where she gets to call you even when the matchbox runs out salt runs out you are all working but she gets to discover that you can fail to do some things in the house here and there and pay some bills and shop not because you don't have money but your money is used to do the wrong things is used to help other women outside, is used to splash on relatives, she gets to discover that. And now she re-strategizes, she begins to change into somebody that she was never planning to be. Not because it's intentional, it's because of the circumstance in that house. And there is where she starts to pay for her sins or rather her assumptions and ignorance of the red flags in that relationship. So a man will start wondering, this is not the kind of woman I married. The kind of woman I married could not talk back to me. 
the kind of woman I married could support me. The kind of woman I got married to was so submissive and respectful and she wanted um accountability and she was overly caring more of a mother but now you can go for your work and spend a night there and she doesn't care she can go for days without checking on you and maybe she has shifted the bedrooms and maybe she doesn't care when you come back home late and maybe whenever you come back home late she doesn't bother to wake up and home food for you she has just surrendered and dropped everything. Why? Because that relationship is not yielding. Because you, the man, is not playing your part. Because you have relaxed a lot. She has learned so much about you. She has learned your favorite kind of food. She has learned about your temperament. She has learned about your weaknesses. She has learned about your strength. She has learned a lot about you. But you have relaxed in everything. You have left the better part of the work for her. And whatever she thought, this magnified image of you that she thought you were, you are going to protect her, you are going to provide, you are going to support her and protect her and her children and provide spiritual guidance and just nurture your children and just create this cute family under the grace of God is not there. Now she's the one who wakes up to prepare kids and go to church, leaving you in the bed. Now she's the one who oversees how the whole home runs. Now where do you think? respect will come from a woman who does almost everything in that house she has to nurture the children raise them provide maybe for them help you pay the bills give birth do all those things and that is actually where a woman gets to change so in the beginning, it's all floral. A woman can actually change or rather camouflage into a character that she thinks the man that she loves wants or desires in a woman. But the moment you settle down and start doing life together, upon her realizing that there is nothing much you can offer to that family, she's doing three quarters of the job in that relationship, then there is where she gets to change. She has not changed. She is being drained because she's doing much of the work. Instead of using that energy to love and take care and submit to you as the man and respect and just treat you how you would love or how she used to treat you initially, she has channeled that energy to the family now that you are too plain, now that you are so unbothered, you don't have sense of urgency or you are just there thinking that upon providing, your work starts and ends on provision. So don't go asking or wondering why women change their Jezebels and so on and so forth. It is because you did not play your part in her life. Upon her stepping in, it drains her. It drains her to a level where she cannot play both parts in that relationship of her being a husband and again being a wife. She'd rather just be a wife and perform everything and let you be as you are or maybe exit the relationship because now there's nothing important or tangible you are bringing to the table. That is the main reason as to why women change.